in this video, I'm going to explain how to calibrate the pneumatic level controller from Fisher Control. This controller is 2500 series, uh, 6 to 30 psi signal. Okay, to start the calibration, I need to lock into this reset bellows uh, half of the signal, which is 18 psi. But before going into that, I need to mention the main component. This is the set point for the operator to adjust to set his uh, level. This is the main relay, pneumatic relay. This is the supply air pressure, and this one is the output pressure. This is the proportional bound valve or adjustment, and this is the reset adjustment. This is the reset bellows, and this is the proportional band bellows. Okay. To start the calibration, I need to first to put my displacer 50% in, inside the water. Then, I need to set the output to, to 18 psi, half of the signal. So, I, if I adjust this one up to 18 psi, okay, now it's almost 18, I can lock it now 18 psi. Now I locked 18 psi inside the reset below. So what I need now is to loosen this clamp from the torque R or the torque cube, okay? Then put my adjustment is 50% here on the set point. My proportional band should be one and this one should be closed. Now I should adjust the output by before clamping into the torque arm. I need to adjust it until I reach, I get 18 psi. So I will lock this clamp at 18 psi. Okay, now that's 18 psi. Okay, look at it, get it is clear, 18 psi. So, now the calibration is done. As soon as I open this reset uh, adjustment, it should stay, the indicator should stay at 18, but it will not because there is slight, I cannot set it exactly, I'm not sure if this gauge is okay. But as soon as I open it, I should see it either not moving or it should go up or down, but in small increments, very slowly, it should go up or down. And we'll open it now and see how it behaves. See, now it started going up. Okay, the controller is now seeing that the level is um, more than it should be, more than the set point. Okay, so that's why it is driving the output to maximum to open the valve so it can get rid of the level. Now let's see if the calibration and verify the calibration. Let's set our level to 70%. Okay, that is 70%. See, the output started going down because it's less than the actual, because it's only 50% inside the displacer. So the controller is, has closed the valve, has given zero output to close the valve, okay? But if, let's put our set point to 30, okay? So the output pressure is gone high because the controller is saying there is too much level inside the, uh, the tank. So that's why it's giving output to get rid of the uh, level. Uh, that is basically how it is, and this calibration, calibration should not take more than five minutes to do. Okay, let's put it to 40%, okay, and let's move our displacer and see how the controller behaves. The controller now is giving maximum output. If I now lower or increase, it should take an action. I've set my set point to 40%, and let's increase and decrease the, the level. Okay, I lower the displacer and see how it behaves. Now, I'm lowering the displacer and still the output not change because it's trying, the controller is trying to get rid of the level. But if I get the displacer out of the tank, getting, showing like less level, you will see the you will see the, uh, the output is going to zero. See, now it's 50% the displacement now in the water. Now it's going less. 
My set point is 40. Now it's almost 40. Now it should start moving, see? Now, as soon as it goes below 40%, the controller started taking an action and closing the valve to maintain the level. That's all about it. 